we have two exhibitions opening on Friday the 13th at the Thorne Segendorf Art Gallery at Keene State College. One is our annual BFA and BA student exhibition. This year we have 16 students showing artwork that they have developed over the past year working with faculty and the staff here at the Thorne Art Gallery. Last year um, we had to apply, we had to submit like a portfolio um, and so uh, I got into the BFA program um, and then I, I spent pretty much the whole semester kind of like thinking of an idea um, almost too much so I was a little bit overwhelmed um, and my professor Peter he uh, he pushed me to run with portraiture just because that's something I've always loved doing in classes um, and I'm really really glad I did that. We think that giving the students the opportunity or the challenge of working in a professional setting like this will help them turn their creativity into more of a marketable skill set. That doesn't mean that they become less creative, that means they become better at putting their creativity out there into what can be sometimes a bit of a complicated and intimidating world. We try to give people the tools to let them do that. One of the ways we do that is by showing their work alongside the work of more recognized artists. Well, my piece was inspired by um, actually my grandmother who I was looking through old archival photographs and found this photograph of her in a um, one of those like old 1950s house dresses. And I was really drawn to it because of the big pockets in the side of the dress. Um, because women used to wear these dresses when they were cleaning and those big pockets were used for right, putting, helping them in the house you know, on their daily tasks of cleaning and working. So at the same time, being a woman and gender studies major, I think a lot about how media influences us and I chose to remake the dress and modernize it using, um, using advertisements made for female viewers. I was thinking a lot about the male gaze um, while doing this. So I made the dress out of advertisements and then I decided to take the typical domicile task of cleaning indoors outside and I kind of challenged that notion that, the, that, women, that women need to be inside the house and also started questioning the idea of how far have we really come in our society when we look at how we represent our women. The theme of my photographs, I really wanted to capture a, a deadpan um, image of myself in this space and atmosphere to enhance kind of the, perf the performance. Um, also try to capture the surroundings I was in and the people um, and their reactions. Portraiture has just been something I've loved my whole life. Um, I've been drawing since I can remember. Um, people have been something I've always been interested in just because, um, I don't know, drawing helps me understand things, I find. Um, besides for just enjoying it, it helps me process the things around me and the people around me. So with pieces like this, I feel like not only was I capturing the person, but it was like showing my process of how I see the world around me and how I translate. The other exhibition is selected from the Thorns permanent art collection. We, among other work, have 150 photographs taken by Andy Warhol, a well-known American pop artist, and continuing education students have selected uh, the Warhol exhibition, which will be on display at the same time as the student show. They also have spent about two weeks here in the gallery working with Thorne staff, learning how to work in a museum setting to set up and display their artwork. This, the student show is an annual show, so students watching this uh, who will be at Keene State in 2018-19 should certainly come back to the Thorn next April to see the next student show. 